Hello friends, I'm back with a new video of glycolysis. Glycolysis is also called as EMP pathway. EMP stands for Emden, Mayroff and Parnas. These are three scientists who discovered the glycolysis. Now in glycolysis what exactly happens, the glucose molecule which is of 6 carbon, it gets broken down by various enzymatic reactions to form two molecules of pyruvic acid. It takes place in the cytoplasm, therefore it is universal step because glycolysis takes place in all the living organisms on the earth. There are two phases of glycolysis. One is called as preparatory phase and cleavage. Second is oxidative phase or payoff phase. What exactly happens in glycolysis? Let's take a look. Glucose is a 6 carbon compound. It undergoes phosphorylation and it forms glucose 6 phosphate which is also 3 carbon compound. It means ATP getting converted into ADP in the presence of enzyme hexokinase. Glucose 6 phosphate undergoes isomerization and it forms fructose 6 phosphate which is also 3 6 carbon in the presence of enzyme isomerase. Fructose 6 phosphate undergoes phosphorylation and it forms fructose 1 6 diphosphate which is also 6 carbon. It means again here ATP is used up to form ADP and phosphate goes to fructose 6 phosphate in the presence of enzyme phosphofructokinase. Fructose 1 6 diphosphate now undergoes cleavage forming two compounds DHAP and PGAL. What is DHAP? It is dihydroxyacetone phosphate which is 3 carbon compound and PGAL is phosphoglyceraldehyde which is also 3 carbon compound. Now this reaction takes place in the presence of enzyme aldolase. Now DHAP is little bit unstable or less stable so that DHAP is converted or it undergoes isomerization and forms PGA L. So in short one PGL was there and DHAP is also getting converted into PGL. So you get two molecules of PGL phosphoglyceraldehyde which is 3 carbon compound. Now PGAL undergoes oxidative phosphorylation in the presence of enzyme PGL dehydrogenase and it forms 1,3 di PGA. What is di PGA? It is nothing but diphosphoglyceric acid. What is 1 and 3? The phosphate group is present on carbon number 1 and carbon number 3. 1, 3 di PGA undergoes dephosphorylation forming 3 PGA. Dephosphorylation means phosphate group is removed. So from the first carbon the phosphate group is removed therefore we are left with only 3 PGA. In this, the phosphate lost by the PGA goes to ADP and it forms ATP. As you can see, I have mentioned two ADP. Why? Because there are two molecules involved and it takes place in the presence of enzyme PGA kinase. 3 PGA undergoes isomerization and it forms 2 PGA. It simply means that the phosphate group is shifting from third carbon to the second carbon which is also 3 carbon compound in the presence of enzyme PGA mutase. Now this 2 PGA undergoes dehydration means it loses out water molecule and it forms PEPA PEPA in the presence of enzyme enolase. What is PEPA? Phosphoenol pyruvic acid. Phosphoenol pyruvic acid undergoes dephosphorylation. It means it loses out the a phosphate group and it forms pyruvic acid. So in this way it takes place in the presence of enzyme pyruvate kinase. So these are 10 steps of glycolysis. What we need to understand here is something like this. So when you look at this structure you can easily understand as I have written the full forms and everything that is involved. Let's see the energy account what exactly happens. Now in first was step phosphorylation, isomerization, again phosphorylation, four step cleavage, isomerization, oxidation, ATP generation, isomerization, dehydration and ATP generation. So these are the 10 steps of glycolysis. When you look in the glycolysis, ATP used is 2 prior to cleavage. ATP generated is 4 after cleavage. NADS2 formed is 2. We need to understand one important thing my dear friend. 1 NADH2 corresponds to 3 ATP. 
so total atp is 10 formed out of 10 2 is used up in the preparation so what finally we are left with is 8 atp that is our net gain now question comes here how to remember glycolysis that is the problem so for all my students who don't remember glycolysis i have made a very simple song for you if you can understand see it is glucose so we say glucose glucose fructose fructose glucose glucose fructose fructose dab se bana pagal glucose glucose fructose fructose dab se bana pagal niche aaya pagal 1 3 di pega 3 pega 2 pega pe pa pa it's very simple it is glucose glucose fructose fructose dab se bana pagal niche aaya pagal 1 3 di pega 3 pega 2 pega pe pa pa one more time glucose glucose fructose fructose dab se bana pagal niche aaya pagal 1 3 di pega 3 pega 2 pega pe pa pa now glucose glucose this next glucose is glucose 6 phosphate fructose fructose so fructose 6 phosphate fructose 1 6 diphosphate now prior to cleavage everything is 6 carbon so we write 6 c and after cleavage everything is 3 carbon so we write 3 c so there is no issues in writing the carbon number now the problem is where atp is there where atp is not there look very carefully at the images now what it says ATP kuchnai ATP kuchnai means ATP nothing in the next step ATP nothing in the next step so we say ATP kuchnai ATP kuchnai nadu when I say nadu it is NADS2 so ATP kuchnai ATP kuchnai nadu ATP kuchnai ATP kuchnai ATP kuchnai nadu ATP kuchnai pani pani means water and then ATP. So how it goes? If I revise the entire glycolysis, I will say glucose, glucose, fructose, fructose, dapse bana pagal, niche aya pagal, 1, 3, di pega 3, pega 2, pega pe pa pa. Upper sub che carbon cleavage ke baad, 3 carbon. ATP kuch nai, ATP kuch nai, nadu ATP kuch nai, paani ATP. This is how you can remember all the glycolysis ka steps. And for those who have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe like comment and share with your friends that's it for the day thank you very much